Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Um, Rune, I gave you a bit of a roadmap yesterday. Um, remember that we were looking at these green lines as well as key resistance points. One of them was here at $3.12. So um, obviously the assumption is that a large degree wave four could have completed here in June. And we're now trying to break above this level. I mentioned to you that this is going to be a key level to break above. Um, as it would be the first time since August 22 that we get above that level at $3.12. We can see a potential um, five wave move up here. We did talk about that. Yeah, we had a trade set up here. I did remove the box because I wouldn't have too many colors on the chart, but we had five waves up, you know, three waves down into support, even though it was a shallow support, but um, or a shallow pullback, but you can count it as a wave two. And now we could be in this third wave, right? And um, if this indeed is wave three, then the price would move most likely towards the $8 mark. Yeah, So that's one, one scenario. In this scenario, if we break above $3.40, I will assume that we are going straight up without any deep pullback. Okay, At least it increases the likelihood that we will not get this circle wave to pullback. So that's a level to watch. Um, until then, we are watching basically for a wave two pullback into the region between $1.72 and $2.13. I slightly adjusted this support area. So if a deep pullback shows, ideally we don't want it to break below $1.72 to maintain the yellow wave count. Now, if a pullback occurs that is deeper than that, it would not be a disaster. Um, there is another count which I added, which is the white wave count, because you can now count it all as a nice five wave move up actually. I think looks better with it looking at the proportions because this move here as a whole looks actually better um, as a wave four expanded flat or it's actually a running flat so running flat and then we could now be in wave five and we could also sort of be here in this um, pivot area where a pullback could start but again the trend is up a pullback doesn't really show yet we have a small reaction to resistance so it could also go straight up i mean it was one of the bullish setups as i said when the cryptos go they go quickly um if a pullback shows they can be used as um, yeah, pullback opportunity entry points you know if you want to trade pullbacks in an uptrend if no pullback shows you have to trade just the trend continuation if you haven't got a position so it's just a different way of trading it um, but overall, the trend is up very clearly, especially against $1.72. Okay, if that level breaks, then we are morphing into the white wave count. If that happens, I would... I mean, if that happens, what would be support? I mean, key bullish support below which I will really flip bearish and then there is not really any bullish um, support level left, right? That would be $1.05. Okay, so it, it that shows you... That tells you a lot about the risk that we're dealing with at the moment, okay? Um it tells you a lot about the risk because we are massively overextended. It basically takes a br uh, takes a breakdown to one dollar below one dollar five to confirm that this is bearish, right? Below one dollar seventy two, the risk will already increase. But honestly, it takes a break below one dollar five to confirm that we're bearish. So that tells you a lot about the risk. I mean, trading is all about reward and risk, right? So think about it. Um, but essentially, yeah, this is now the area um, that we wanted the price to get into. And now it's all about um, the market to decide if we break above that pivot, only the market will decide that, or if we get a pullback. If there is a pullback, it might be a nice entry point for a third wave rally. Um, and I will give you a target for circle wave three. Once we have circle wave two in place, circle wave two should unfold as a nice ABC structure. And um, yeah, that's what I'm watching for. But overall, micro support. So micro, really micro support here for just this move up. Okay. So how, how long can this move up extend? Uh, or when will we assume that um, it, it doesn't extend any longer? Well, to be honest, micro support is $2.17. So if now a way four pullback shows, it could technically go all the way to the 50% FIP level, but likelihood is I would count that as wave two. So ideally, I don't want this wave four to go below $2.36, but it could already be in. So again, you know, don't try to be so, um, don't try to um, focus too much on the micro count. What's more important, especially in third wave rallies, is the support, which I um, made you aware about. So essentially, this is an area between $2.80 and $3.40, where we are watching if a pullback occurs 
Yeah, I'm not telling you uh, a pullback will occur. Some people try to misunderstand that sometimes. No, I'm not telling you a pullback will occur. If a pullback shows, it's an opportunity. If no pullback shows, it can just keep going, right? Very simple. You know, you're looking for setups here. TA is not a prophecy, you know, very important to understand. Okay, that's where I, uh, how I see Rune at the moment. So definitely in an uptrend. It's been one of the bullish setups that we called very early already um, after the first five up. We had a setup here, impressive performance since then, price easily doubled within just a few days, okay? And now we are watching if a pullback occurs to give us some clarity, because if no pullback occurs, we're likely straight in the larger degree third wave and could go very quickly to the $8 level. But obviously, you still need to be mindful of micro support. So this orange box will wander up together with the price. That's my update about Rune. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.